What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you're new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. This is Gold Pony Crypto. It's though, yet again, I'm getting over another sickness. I think this one is like a cold or whatever, but my kids constantly are bringing that home from school, so I have the pleasure of constantly being sick, not being able to make normal videos. But anyways, off topic here today, I'm going to be touching on five reasons why Tectonic could make you a million or at least a lot of money come the very top of the next bull run in late 2024, early 2025, somewhere in that ballpark. And the reason I wanted to make this video is because there's been a lot of changes actually with Tectonic lately, ticker symbol tonic, and the token is still down approximately 96% from its all time high, meaning there is still a good bit of room for growth potentially in the future here. So that is exciting to me. So ultimately in this video, I'm going to be going over those five reasons for you and before we get started as always nothing in this video should be considered financial advice you guys know i'm just simply a crypto.com crow and chronos related youtuber here so i'm just going to be covering all the tokens that i can so this is simply informational and educational purposes let's get started and so first quickly let me just touch on what tectonic is it's essentially a decentralized lending protocol much like ave is or compound is to ethereum it's actually a fork of compound to be specific so it's going to offer decentralized lending services it's also going to provide staking opportunities as well the way you go ahead and access tectonic is to go ahead and download the crypto.com DeFi wallet at least this is how i do it and then go to the dap section and then you will find tectonic because right now it is number two in terms of total value you locked on Kronos overall right behind VVS finance so that is how you're gonna go ahead and access that but let's start with my number one reason essentially here let's touch on the tokenomics a little bit of tectonic because that was one of the if not the major change that just happened recently on February 7th the tokenomics were changed as far as emissions go for tectonic nothing was changed as far as the overall roadmap goes from the beginning it's just that the emission schedule has changed now for year two so let me start with touching on overall tokenomics here 500 trillion total supply max supply that's ever going to be out there current circulating supply comes in at 128.7 trillion I'm going to be glad and down at my phone from time to time here so I don't miss anything. Current market cap, approximately 22.74 million at the time of this video, at least. And like I said, the recent change, effective February 7th, 2023, the emission schedule for year two has now begun. So these token emissions are now officially reduced by approximately two thirds starting on year two here. So you'll probably notice when you go in for staking or any kind of incentives within the DAP, you're gonna find that these token emissions for your rewards have now been reduced. So the remaining tonic incentives are gonna be reduced linearly within the next four years. So I'll put the little chart on the screen right now so you guys can actually see in photo form of what I'm talking about. And so while this might be a little upsetting for anybody who is using Using the tonic dap this is to be expected as per the roadmap and this is typically how a lot of daps will do things as well the initial token supply will reward the early adopters and then it will be reduced over time as the total value locked tends to increase over time and the reputation and trust is built for the dap so ultimately it always rewards the early adopters and then it kind of dwindles down to then reward the early adopters and really anybody that uses the app going forward because then the token supply is going to be reduced creating a higher token price essentially so that is why a lot of times it's good to get into these projects on the early end because you're able to get the token a lot cheaper than if you were to wait to go ahead and buy it in let's say year four or something like that and speaking of let's go ahead and touch now on the token allocation distribution so 50.9 percent aka approximately 254 trillion is going to go towards community incentives is essentially what i was just going over there 23 percent or 11.5 trillion is going to go towards the team but that is vested after four years so therefore their tokens aren't going to be vested until probably the beginning of the next bear market so that's after even the all-time high for this bull run i believe that's how it's going to work there then 13 percent or six and a half trillion is going to go towards the ecosystem reserves and then another 13 percent is going to go towards network security and maintenance that's essentially how the token distribution is broken down but the so next reason on my list here is the fact that tectonic was incubated by particle b at the time now known as chronos labs why is this important because chronos labs aka particle b was founded by gary Orr. and you might ask yourself who is gary Orr? gary Orr was one of the co-founders of crypto.com and so therefore you can assume he has a very special relationship with chris marzalak and crypto.com in general so that is probably one of the reasons 
is why both VVS and Tectonic were one of the first two tokens on Kronos to actually get listed on the Crypto.com centralized app. And actually, there was, I believe, a 2 or 3% rewards on the centralized app when they first got listed during that bull run as well. So that was pretty cool to see back in the day. They have since then been removed, of course. But who knows? Maybe when the bull run goes full swing again, that'll be added to the centralized app yet again. But that is pretty cool. So they have a lot of backing from crypto.com, which is definitely good to see. And if you look up a little bit about Gary Orr's history, you're going to see that he has a nice track record when it comes to blockchain development and specifically security because he used to be a white hat hacker, aka ethical hacker back in the day. So that is why when a lot of these security audits go through, they're of course looked at by Gary Orr as well with Kronos Labs just to make sure that everything looks good in his eyes in terms of security. And we'll be getting into the security of Tectonic here in a little bit. Next thing I want to touch on is what's next for Tectonic. And this is what really excites me the most. And so let me actually read from the Medium article here, if you don't mind, because I don't want to miss anything. So as a quick recap of what we delivered last year, some of our major milestones were the launch of Tonic State maturity vaults and the analytics dashboard over the next few months we will focus on delivering two features NFT staking and isolated lending pools. NFT staking aims to provide further utility for Xtonic Vault users as well as Kronos NFT holders. On the other hand, isolated pools will allow us to list new tokens while providing an added layer of security to users. Users will also be able to enjoy additional rewards in the form of partner protocols, native tokens. And so this essentially sounds like they're gonna be teaming up with other Kronos Labs projects more than likely, maybe Argo or Faro or maybe VVS Finance, I'm not sure, but they're going to be teaming up with other Kronos Labs NFTs and other tokens to uh, provide additional utility to those as well. But it gets better. Listen to this. Over the medium term, meaning maybe not in the next few months, but after that, we also have on the roadmap some projects that have been widely requested by our community. I'm excited for this one, including an upcoming NFT collection. So you guys know how VVS Finance has the minor moles, which I'm obsessed with the VVS Gachi game and actually participating in that. There's a uh, they're giving away 30 minor mole NFTs right now, which I'm trying to get. I got perfect health for my minor mole, so hopefully I'll be drawn. I'll let you guys know by making a video if I was a winner or not. But still, my point is they're going to be creating tectonic NFTs over the medium term here, probably in the year 2023, which of course is going to provide some sort of utility for the tectonic platform. So I'm 100% excited for that. More people are gonna get excited for Tectonic when these NFTs then come out. So I guess you can kind of call that a two in one. You got Tectonic not only collaborating with other Kronos Labs projects, but you also have their NFT coming down the line. So I'm actually gonna count that as two right there, just so I can make it an even five. But anyways, and so as I promised, let's go ahead and touch on the security of Tectonic. This is pretty good. So like I said at the beginning, because it's Kronos Labs, Tectonic was audited by Kronos Labs to start with their security team. And like I said, Gary Orr was an ethical, AKA white hat hacker. So he has a lot of experience with security to start with. But to go even further than that, since Tectonic is actually a fork of the Compound protocol based on Ethereum, Compound protocol was audited by Trail of Bits and Open Deplin, which are two other security auditing firms. So that's on the Ethereum side, on the Compound side. But in addition to that, Tectonic has also been audited by Slow Mist in both 21 and 2022. Too. So you can actually check out that full report on Tectonic's website if you wanted to. But then also in 2022, they were audited by BlockSec as well. So plenty of audits. And again, that's why I like a lot of the projects that are coming onto Kronos from Kronos Labs because they are incubated by essentially Gary Orr, who is specialized in security in the past. So you have a lot better peace of mind going into the project, putting your funds on that project, knowing that it is most likely as secure as it is going to get because Gary Orr has taken a look at it, who co-founded Crypto.com. So there you go. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of Tectonic, it's really the only trusted lending protocol on Kronos right now. There has been a couple others. I believe one of them, I want to say Crowlend, maybe maybe that was the name, might have been a rug pull back in the day when, when, uh, when it first came out. But really, Tectonic is the only route to go when it comes to a lending protocol that I currently know of on Kronos, so there's that. There's also the fact that it is down substantially, 96% approximately from its all time high. So there's plenty of room for growth and a very relatively low market cap at only around $22 million. So again, when this bull run goes back into full swing, 
it has a heck of a lot of room to grow at a small market cap like that. So looking forward to seeing what's happened there. It was incubated by Kronos Labs, as I said a million times. And you got NFTs coming soon for added utility on Tectonics. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of Tectonic in the comments section below. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen. If you wanted to see different cryptocurrency updates, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into crypto.com, Crow and Kronos, because that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold